Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Before you replace the water distribution tube in your ice machine, be sure to unplug the power cord or shut off the power supply to the appliance. Have an assistant help you to move the appliance away from the wall or cabinet. Using a quarter inch socket or nut driver, unthread the screws securing the access cover to the control panel. You can use a putty knife to help pry the cover free. Disconnect the ice bin thermistor wire connector along with the cutting grid wire connector. Next, unthread the two mounting screws securing the grid to the bracket and liner. With the screws unthreaded, you can slide out the grid. Unthread the drain cap to drain any water that may be in the reservoir tray. Detach the reservoir fill tube from the circulation pump cover. Next, unthread the screw to release the reservoir assembly. Detach the distribution tube from the circulation pump. Using a T20 Torx bit, unthread the front screws securing the top panel. Use a quarter inch socket or nut driver to unthread the rear screws. Lift the top panel up and have the assistance support it. Pull out the tab to release the distribution tube from the evaporator assembly and you can fully remove the old tube. Install the new water distribution tube by aligning it on the evaporator assembly and snapping it into place. Reposition the top panel. Rethread the screws in the front and rear. Attach the new distribution tube to the circulation pump. Reposition the reservoir assembly and replace the mounting screw. Secure the fill tube to the circulation pump cover. Thread on the drain cap. Before you reinstall the cutting grid, make sure the right side spacer is intact. Now align the grid on the bracket and liner, then thread the mounting screws. Reconnect the cutting grid wire connector along with the thermistor wire connector. Reinstall the access cover by aligning the bottom edge first so the ice scoop housing rests on the top of the cover. Secure it with the screws. Move the appliance back into place. Plug the power cord back in, or restore the power supply, and your ice machine should be ready for use.